Hello YouTube, this is Braden with Midwest Websites, your solution for business website design and search engine optimization. Planning on starting a new blog or a new business website? Swing by our store to get everything you'll need to get started, including domains, hosting, email, and more. Link in the description below. Speaking of new websites, today we're going to be going over a setting in cPanel that dictates how well contact forms reach your email address. The setting in question is called MX Entry, and hosting providers set this a few different ways by default. Most tend to set, set it to its original setting, which is Local Mail Exchanger, while a few set it to Remote Mail Exchanger. But what does that mean exactly? Well, let's talk about that a little bit. As many of you who have worked in a cPanel before are aware, cPanel has the capability of allowing you to create email addresses for any domain that you attach to it. Now, while this looks really convenient on the surface, convenience really does come at a price here. Most cPanels that a startup business are going to be working with are on what is called shared hosting, which is a server that has a lot of different people sharing the same hardware and allocating resources so that each person gets X amount to work with for their website. All of these people on this hardware, when they use email addresses on that server, are pushing it through the same hardware. So basically, the reliability of the email is dependent upon how good the hardware is for the server and, more importantly, how well behaved your neighbors are. While you may not use your email for more than a few things each day, some people try to game the system by trying to treat cPanel as an alternative to sources like Constant Contact, which are designed for mass emails. cPanel is not designed for this in any capacity, even if you're running it on a dedicated server. It's really not the ideal use for it. As a result, if you have a noisy neighbor, so to speak, in the apartment complex that is a shared hosting platform, you can pay the price for it, which in turn could cost you business depending upon whether your email is used to make you money, i.e. if you're basically contacting clients and they're agreeing to work through your email system. My general rule of thumb for anything involving business email is to set your email up on its own dedicated environment. Exchange is ideal, IMAP is acceptable. Getting back to the discussion that we started with, though, local mail exchanger and remote mail exchanger tie in with whether you're using cPanel as your email system for your business. Local mail exchanger means that if your contact form for your website goes to an email address that's tied to your domain, so let's say I'm using example.midwestwebsites.com, like what's on the screen here, and my email address is design at example.midwestwebsites.com. If I have that email set up on my cPanel, I need to make sure that this is set to local mail exchanger. This tells cPanel any messages that are sent through the website, it should look locally at itself for that email address and nowhere else. Conversely, remote mail exchanger is Say I have my email hosted with GoDaddy or with my local internet service provider. Basically, if my email is anywhere but cPanel, I need to make sure it's set to remote mail exchanger so cPanel knows to look anywhere except itself for sending messages out from a website that you have on the server. As I mentioned before, you really shouldn't be using cPanel for business email in any capacity because you need to make sure that messages that are coming in for your business are actually reaching you. Email is ever more the most important point of contact for a lot of businesses and missing a message means that you could be missing money. But if your contact form is not operating as it is supposed to, in more cases than not, checking this specific setting in your cPanel will set things right again. Remember, local is for 
any email addresses that are on the same cPanel, and remote is for any email addresses that are not on the cPanel. All there is to it. And if this video has been helpful to you, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel. We appreciate the support, and it helps get that information out to those who need it. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great rest of the day.